Hello, everybody. Welcome to Grace Berry Beauties. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer, I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this. But, Barrick, uh, a good friend of mine that lives in Florida, went on vacation uh, in the Bahamas and uh, asked me if I would be interested in, in getting a, a couple of the beers that are, that are done down there. And this is their basic, their American macro lager that they do. This is what it is, it's an adjunct lager. And uh, basically, I said yes, absolutely. So I'm not expecting, and this is in the same realm as the Bud, and Miller, and the Coors, but I've never had one of these. So I said absolutely. So he sent me two of them, and I'm going to review one of them. But like I said, this is an adjunct lager, and I don't drink a lot of lagers anymore. I will review some of the craft lagers, but I don't support the uh, Bud, Miller, Coors group anymore. Uh, these beers are produced for to get drunk basically and you have to session quite a few of them to even get there. I don't know if it has it, the ABV on the label but according to what I've got here it's a five percenter which is pretty average for an adjunct locker. So uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time on this. I do appreciate him sending it to me no matter whether it's a 10 or a 1 or a drain pour even. Uh, I appreciate it because I've never had it before. I've not had the luxury of going to the Bahamas before so uh, it is what it is, so, and Barrick, thanks again for sending it to me. Uh, don't take it personal if I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of the adjunct lagers, but I do want to try it, and I'm glad you sent it to me, brother. So, with that being said, let's get on with this. It says it's an American adjunct locker, 5%, year-round availability there. And I think he said you could get this one in Florida, too. Uh, the food products of this cuisine is barbecue, Indian, Latin American, the Thai, the Pan Asian. The cheeses are peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, and the meat is shellfish. The glassware is pint, the becker, the nonic, the tumbler, the pilsner glass, or the pokel. This is my, uh, I call my lager glass or pilsner glass. So without further ado, I don't know if it's a twisty or you have to have an opener. I'm going to flip the opener out and we'll find out here whether it is. This thing is sticking. I don't know why it's sticking. And it is not a twisty. So uh, you have to have an opener for this, which surprises me. But it is in a clear bottle, so hopefully it hasn't skunked up or anything. Let's go down here and see if we can get a little bit of a head. Not much of a head going down the center of the glass, so maybe they don't use a whole lot of adjuncts. We can keep our fingers crossed. Looks like a typical micro lager in the glass, a lot of bubbles. Looks fairly well carbonated. Let's get a nose on this one. Smells very typical of uh, uh, an American lager. Uh, grassy, grainy. A little bit of hay. Got uh, just a slight presence of some hops in there. Nothing outstanding or amazing. Take, it's, uh, got a, the, the aroma is pretty much typical of what Bud Miller Coors smells like when you pour it in a glass. Might be even be some corn in there too. Well, cheers everybody, cheers back. Thank you buddy for sending it to me. Down the hatch they say. <laughs> very thin, very watery. Very refreshing on a hot day on the Bahama Island. And that's what these beers are made for, uh, especially this one down there. You get there and, you, and it's 85, 90 degrees out on the beach. You want something uh, that's not feeling not heavy uh, to sit on the beach and, and, and uh, be crisp and refreshing. And something you can have 
six or seven or eight or how many you're accustomed to drinking without you know it, it, you know being a 10 percent beer it's going to lay you down for drinking that many so it is what it is and, and it is good for what it is this one's right out of the fridge about 40 degrees and it's right damn tasty Nothing that I would, if it was available here, that I would run out and buy. But I wanted to try it, so I asked him to send them to me, and he did. Tastes just like I anticipated tasting like. It's really not that bad. As long as it's not produced by Bud Miller or Coors, I could see me drinking some of these on the beach. Probably more or less go for the IPAs or the pails that are normal, but if it was available, I would not turn it down if that was the only thing. As long as it's ice cold like this one is, it would be very nice on, on a hot day. A lot more beer is what I call these, and this would be another example of a Bahamian, Bahamian, a lot more beer. First beer of the day, right nice, right crisp. It's not something that's going to get a 10. I don't consider it even an A beer. But for what it is, it's nice. It's tasty. Definitely not a drain pour, for sure. He sent me two of these. And I'm glad he did. This is really not that bad. Not a whole lot of taste from somebody like myself as a hop head and loves the Imperial Stouts and stuff like that. This is not even in the same category, not even in the same boat, not even on the same island. But for what it is, if you're there in, in the Bahamas and you want to drink something, this is probably what you're going to drink. Uh, he did send me a stout that was brewed on the, on the main island there and it was really tasty. It wasn't a 10, but it was rather tasty. I mean... When you're on a tropical island, you got to drink what you can get. So, I mean, unless you're going to drink salt water, this is probably what you're going to end up drinking. So, Or unless you bring it with you, this is probably what you're going to end up drinking. So, it is what it is. Uh, and it's brewed to be an, an American adjunct lager for the Americans more than likely that vacation there. You know, all the Bud Miller Coors drinkers. So, with that being said, this is our tasty. I'm probably going to drink it right here in front of you. Very light, very sessionable, very clean, very crisp, no bad or off flavors, very nice. Like I said, it's not a 10 beer, but for what it's brewed to be, which is a uh, American style lager, it fits that bill to the T. If I was grading it on that, it would probably be a B beer, but you know, uh, Taking everything in, into account, you know, if I could get an IPA or a pale ale, I would probably choose those over this. But if you're there and this is what's available, this is what you drink. That's your choice. Unless you're going to drink a stout or something like that. And not a lot of people want to do that when they're, it's 90 degrees outside. So it's a little heavier. And this one you can drink 6, 8, 12. And, you know, and, and you'll have a buzz, no doubt. But it's not like drinking 6, 10 percenters like like an imperial stout or something like that because you ain't going to have a buzz, you're going to be drunk, you're going to be laying face down in the sand somewhere. <laughs> Crabs be eating on your ass. Alright guys, let's do the final chug on this one. Very nice. Very crisp, very refreshing. For what it is and what's available there, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. If I was writing this on a scale to 10 for what it is and where it's available, it's not that bad. I would probably enjoy that on the island, no doubt about it. Of course, if there was a pail or uh, an IPA available, I would probably choose that over since I'm a hophead. But for what it's produced for, it's it's pretty tasty. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a six, which is a solid B. For what it is. I mean, it's not supposed to be hop forward or hop heavy. It's a session lager, and that's what it is, and that's what it tastes like, and it's pretty good at that. So, 
Let's go over and see what the other guys say. And I'm not expecting a whole lot of big numbers from these guys either. So we'll go over to Beer Advocates. Beer Advocates says 64, which is in their poor range. Kind of figured that. I'm kind of figured that's what they was going to give it. But I, it's not that bad. I mean, it's no worse than a Coors or, or, or a Miller or a Budweiser. Rather tasty. Rather tasty. Uh, going over to Rate Beer. Ooh. Right beer is not kind to these boys. Three overall is what they're giving it, and 28 in the style. So I uh, kind of expected them to have some kind of low numbers because the guys that review beers are not impressed with this style of beers. Uh, most of them don't drink micro lagers, uh, the Bud Middle Core uh, beers. They're into the craft beers, the stuff with a lot of taste uh, and, and, and uh, probably a little more ABV in that. They're, kind of seasoned drinkers, and I'm not saying they're all alcoholics or anything, but they're looking for something with a little more taste rather than a, a session lager. And that's what this is. So for what it is, it's pretty tasty. Uh, and I'm going I'm to leave it at that, you know, uh, if, if you're in the Bahamas and, you, and, and you're wanting something to drink, more than likely, unless you bring something with you, this is probably what you're going to get your hands on, and it's not a bad beer. So with that being said, guys, any of you guys that's been in the Bahamas or in Florida that uh, may be able to get your hands on this, let me know what you think of this. I don't think it's all that bad. Glad I got to taste it. Got another one in the fridge. Let's be up to about 65 degrees tomorrow. I might go ahead and pop a top on that when I get home to get it out and, and drink it while it's fresh and not let it linger on and on and on. So, all right, guys, that's all we're going to say about this one. If you've had it, give me some comments back on this. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's go see what's in the fridge. See you then.